I had to go to the store and get milk and paper towels. And that was the first time I was like, wow, I am such a freaking adult. I really appreciate the childhood my parents were able to give me. I'm really privileged to have grown up in a functional house where my parents didn't want me to die. I made a parent stories video a little over a year ago, and I rewatched it to make sure I didn't repeat any topics. And all I'm gonna say is those stories and animation are not worth 10 million views. <laughs> that video, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like that video. My parents were really, really big on manners and being polite. We've got some Asian blood in us, so we can't bring dishonor to our family. We do all the typical things like call adults Mr. and Mrs to be excused from dinner, make sure to thank everyone for everything ever, bow to our superiors. When my mom had new people come over to the house, she would make me introduce myself and shake their hand, and then when no one was looking, she'd pull me aside to a different room and quiz me, what color are their eyes? That was my mom's training course to get me to be good at eye contact, because I guess I used to be stupid and not look at people when they talked, but I remember that kind of backfired because I'd be so focused on memorizing their eyes that I wouldn't pay attention to what they were saying. Hi Jaden, how are you? Shh! brain cells and swimming 
two feet to the side away from the mat, I decided to try and just bench press my way to survival. One of the adults realized I was being an idiot and also dying, and instead of being like, well, survival of the fittest, he dove in and saved me. So I didn't end up drowning of stupidity. Thank you, Mr. Chad. And now I'm here, on my own, moved to California, in my own place, not that at the bottom of staring at everyone. Being honest, I love my family so much and they've done so much for me. It takes a lot of effort to raise a person. Just think about how helpless and stupid babies are when they start out. They can't do anything. You can just put a baby on the ground and do nothing. Just leave it alone and it'll just... pathetic. I'm so thankful and lucky my family's so supportive about everything I've been able to do because I know not a lot of parents are like that. They even helped me sell merch at FitCon. They were so happy about it too. They came up to me after every day like, oh my gosh, Jaden, everyone's so wonderful. The people who watch your videos are so sweet. Someone asked me to sign their shirt, so I just wrote Jaden's mom. I was really nervous to pursue this career path because it can be a bit unpredictable, but the fact that they're so proud and encouraging has helped me do so much more than I ever would have thought I could if I was alone. So thanks, mom and dad.